Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Benji and welcome back to another video. Before we get started with this one, make sure to please drop a like on the video for some good luck for AMC. If you're ready for some new all-time highs like I am, make sure to please drop a like on the video. Next guys, another article to go through. This is absolutely crazy. Robinhood exec sold AMC shares two days before January's trading restriction says lawsuit. An executive of Robinhood Markets Inc. sold shares of American theater chain AMC Entertainment Holdings earlier this year. Days before the broker stopped its users from purchasing AMC shares. The move came in January as the battle between retail and institutional investors reached its climate, with the former causing heavy losses to the latter by joining forces to drive up selected companies' share prices by making large stock purchases. Robin was caught in the middle of the saga as it was responsible for settling trades made by users who were looking to buy more shares of AMC and other companies to profit from their meteoric price increases. Details of the internal chat revealed in a class action lawsuit alleging Robinhood of causing investors' losses. The courtesy of the lawsuit filed in the United States District, District Court of Southern District, Florida, details of Robinhood Chief Operating Officer and President Mr. James S. Internal chat in the company reveals that the executive sold, sold shares he held of AMC before the company implemented a transaction restriction later that week. This restriction referred to as PCO or position closing only policy is in the lawsuit was implemented on Thursday, January 28, 2021. It remained in place for the remainder of the day with Robin allowing only limited purchases the next day. So basically by only allowing people to close their positions, what do you think is going to happen to the share price? This suit shares an excerpt from an internal Robin and chat in which Mr. Smart Wout told Robin employees that he has sold his stake in AMC and that his company would focus its attention on GameStop the next day. This excerpt from a chat dated January 26 quotes the executives as stating, I sold my AMC at FYI. Tomorrow morning we are moving GME to 100% so you all are aware. The final bit of the excerpt where Mr. Stowart states that we are moving GME to 100% seems to imply that on the next day, Robinhood was anticipating a drastic increase in transactions and events related to the stock. This is hinted at by internal conversations from three days back, in which management discussed methods to deal with methods of dealing with booming interest in shares of GameStop Corp on the Reddit form Wall Street Bets. The suit claims that mismanagement of Robinhood's part and the PCO caused losses to the plaintiffs who had no option but to sell their shares at later dates at lower prices than they originally could have. In blog posts during this time period of the lawsuit, Robin explained that it restricted share purchases to ensure that it could meet deposit requirements with clearinghouses that process the company's customer transactions. The suit accuses the management of failing to foresee these requirements and causing losses to customers. Now, I don't know what's going to happen and what will come out from this, but I hope the retail investors get what they deserve. But if you want to stay up to date with everything else that's going on with AMC, because trust me, there's a lot more to go through, make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video. Also, drop a like on this video for some good luck moving forward for AMC. And lastly, go to the second link down below in my description and join my private exclusive Discord server. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.